What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Blue Lock Season 2, Episode 3. Remember, if you guys want the full uncut version of this reaction, check out the Patreon link down below. Not gonna waste any more time. Blue Lock, Episode 3, Season 2. Let's do it. All right, Episode 27, The World You Feel. I do remember he got the non-working together Shido and Rin, and he wonders if he can use them as a piece, you know? There is a certain level of individualism you need to be the top in a strikers only program so i get that but can players like this really coexist that's the real question that's literally coexisting and being assertion what ego said also i don't want to pause it and, and talk too long about this but a lot of people you know a lot of people have been roasting myself slightly included uh blue lock the season for its animation but I'm going to kind of hold off on my judgments at least until I've seen the U20 match. Because a lot of speculation has been that they're saving budget for that match. And I don't, I don't really know how animation budgets work. But let's all just, don't call it frame lock, seven deadly frames, blue frame. Let's, let's relax a little bit until we see that, you know. Here we go. Let's hopefully we have some greatness. The biggest complaint is the lack of motion. And just these still shots while they're in the characters' minds, you know. So. I'm hoping. Okay. So Isagi has moves that are actually doable to this guy, so he's gonna use that to his advantage and actually help us out. Okay. His spatial awareness is his gift. Getting a full picture of the field. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna pass? Is he gonna shoot? A lot relies on Isagi right now. That is Shido. Do you think that'll work though? It is a classic style of play, but... Okay. Shido's gonna do it himself. We did score, okay. A banana shot, I have no idea what that is. He's the most adaptable and just pure instincts. I do like that inside the box specifically, you know. He is a beast. He is indeed. Starting to go crazy. They really do love these frozen slow motion character shots, huh? Okay. Disregarded Isagi so much, we just slid in. I mean, what do you expect? Good stuff, Isagi. I won't lie though. Like when you really try to look for it, it does seem like every frame is just a frozen still shot like that. I do want at least a clean shot with a little motion. I'm not trying to roast. I just love Blue Ox Season 1 so much, you know? I have a feeling because Shido got the last goal, though, this one's going to be Rin to make up for it, you know? Speak of the devil. Oh, Isugi, which, eh, he could be scored the tying goal. I would actually like that as well. Something tells me Rin, though. The final puzzle piece he needs. Great pass from Hiori. Did he really whiff? One step short, like a foot off his, his kick. We haven't had just a genuine error play since like early season one. So far, everyone's been pro level amazingness. Okay. Good matchup, Karasu and Ren. I, cause I would assume Ren would get that one, but now hopefully Isagi will get the game winning one. That's a good point. Use them as stepping stones. He keeps thinking how he wants to fit in with them, blend in, coexist. I agree. Let's let that devil out. I like that. Hiori is so nice. 
So is Nanose. Just nice guys. After that just means after this match, we need another week long training montage. Oh, I do like that. Let's let instincts kick in a little more. Giggery running. Hit the afterburners. We know he'd be putting them burners on. This guy is just a fucking demon. Gojo is such a good voice actor choice for him. That's what I predict. I was about to say, is that the end of the episode? No shot. We're already halfway through, though. Even Nanase with the aura? Another matchup. Yeah. Look at this Hail Mary of just nothing but running. Dominate the utter chaos. Who is going to be the one to dominate? I hope it's Isagi. The piece isn't falling into place. He doesn't have an opening. I do like that. Fuck the thinking about it. Fuck using your head. Just run. Fuck it. Sense it. Move. Nice crossover. Okay, with the puzzle piece blue eye aura. Who are you feeling like? You know, they're both shocked as hell. He's. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I was clean as hell for Isagi. I was clean as hell. Ah, I like the animation, but I just wish it was a little more. That was a great shot. I love that W win from us. Especially his. Saying screw the thinking. The mental prowess saying just. Go at it, but the flow, the zone, the mechanism of a miracle. Okay, with the poeticness. If you guys have ever seen Kuroko no Basket, you know how important the zone or that flow state is. That can change the game. All right, like I said in the episode, by no means is this a bad episode. I love the moment for the character itself, Isagi. I love the moment for the win um, and the potential awakening for powers for him. But I just, I, there was obviously, there's been everyone roasting Blue Lock over the past week about the animation and stuff like that. And uh, I normally don't think it would have bothered me as much if I didn't see a montage of like the cool Sakuga moments from season one. So I just know the potential. There were so many cool moments in season one that I am not saying this to roast because I'm going to watch it no matter what. I'm invested. I'm going to hold my judgment until we're finished with U20. But if so far, if this was like the start of season one and this was like the people's first entry to Blue Lock, I'm just not sure it would have blown up as much as it did during season one, you know? So I'm like I said, I'm hoping for the best. I'm enjoying these episodes. I know a lot of people aren't, but hey, I'm sticking it with it. I've watched I'm going to say this, and this is going to sound a little pretentious, but if you've watched a lot of anime and you think this is genuinely bad animation, that's like, like there are some genuinely horribly animated stuff. I know this is not the best, but like, this isn't like horrible. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day to Squad. Peace out.